Hi friends, in today's video, I want to talk to you about a large cap stock that can potentially give close to 25 to 30% of annual returns or profits, provided you can hold this stock for next three years. And more importantly, the risk with this stock is very, very limited. The name of the stock is Bharat Electronics Limited. Many of you, in fact, drop the comments on my channel saying that Rahul, can you analyze Bharat Electronics Limited? So in this video, I'm going to do full analysis of Bharat Electronics Limited, and I will present you data and facts for you to make the decision with that let's get this video started have a look at my screen and you will see that Bharat Electronics Limited in the last one year has given close to 32% returns and this being a large cap stock 32% growth yearly basis is very very healthy because not many large cap stocks are able to give 32% return on a yearly basis the question comes why the stock is able to give us 32% return in the last one year and more importantly what is the future prospect of this stock for this let me walk you through the financials of this company because that will tell us a lot about why the stock is appreciating at healthy rate. So let me go to financials here and you will see that in the last few years, the top line growth of this stock has been close to 6%, 8%, 9%. But last year, 2022, 2023, the company's top line has grown by close to 15%. That is 1.5 times improvement from last three years perspective. Also, if you have a look at the net income and EPS, which is earning per share, that has gone up to 25% growth versus 15% growth in the preceding two years. So what is happening right now is that from revenues perspective and from profitability perspective, company's growth has been 1.5 times from where it was last two years ago. And this has given a lot of confidence to investors. That is why the stock price has appreciated. And you see the effect of these numbers into the stock prices immediately. But the million dollar question is that can this company continue to grow at 15% from a revenue perspective and 25% from profitability perspective? And my analysis that I'm going to present to you will reveal to you that actually the company can grow more than 15% from a revenue perspective and as well as from profitability perspective. Before I present to you their latest investors earning call presentation, let me also give you a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, which is Mstock. Mstock is an investment product by Mirai Assets. And right now you can get a free DMAT account and enjoy zero brokerage on deliveries, mutual funds and IPO that used to cost 149 rupees earlier. You can also get zero brokerage across all of their products for lifetime by just paying one time fee of 999 rupees only. Opening the DMAT account with Mstock is very, very simple. You enter your mobile number, verify it. Enter your email address, verify it. Enter your PAN card details. Choose the plan that suits you the most. Upload your selfie and verify your signatures. Add your bank account details. And lastly, you can do your KYC registration as well. Point number one is that they have very strong order book. Have a look at my screen and I've taken this data from their investors call presentation for Q1 23-24. You will see that their management is talking about having an order book of 65,000 crore as on 30th of June. Now, if I put this in context, have a look at their revenue revenues, their revenues last year, they did 18,000 crores. Now a revenue run rate of 18,000 crores and an order backlog of 65,000 crores, it's almost 3.5 times, meaning that they already have an order backlog of 3.5 times their annual revenue run rate. And this is phenomenal from the future growth perspective, because as an investor, that gives me a lot of confidence that they have got the orders in place already. And it's a matter of execution and timing that the revenues are growing at a healthy rate. But more importantly, point number two is that this year, 2023-24, the management is projecting a revenue growth of 17%. Last year, we saw 15%. This year, they are projecting 17%. But my gut feel is that it is going to be more than 17%. The reason for this is that they were expecting additional orders of 20,000 crores in this year only. Right? So on top of 65,000 crore, they were expecting 20,000 crores worth order this year only, which is excellent. You might have a counter argument here that Rahul, their management is projecting these big numbers. What is the guarantee that they are going to hit 20,000 crores only in this year? Well, for this, let me present you some more data. Have a look at this article here that came in ET. And if I come down, you will see that so far in this year, they already have orders of 14,000 crores. So this tells me that out of 20,000 crores orders, they already have got 14,000 crores we are only in the month of october now there are still five months to go and i feel very comfortable from 
their company's projections perspective that they are definitely going to hit 20,000 crore rupees because they've already got 14,000 crores worth orders. So far, if you're liking this video, humble request to hit the like button. Third extremely important point is that their potential to get orders for QR SAM as well as MR SAM. Have a look at my screen. You will see that they are expecting these orders to come by FY25 time frame. Now, what is QR SAM? What is MR SAM? Very simply, if you have a look at this, QR SAM is quick reaction surface to air missile while MR SAM SAM is medium range surface to air missile. Now why these two orders are really really important because if you look at this commentary here you will see that investor community is expecting these orders to be really really big ticket size. These could be in the tune of 15,000 crores. Right now their management is not commenting on the order size but there is a high chance that these orders are going to be of high magnitude and the day Bharat Electronics Limited bags these orders what is going to happen is the stock price is going to rally. Now why I am so confident about this stock prices will rally when these orders are announced because have a look at my screen and you will see September 18th what happened was that they bagged an order size of 3000 crore only which is less than five times of 15,000 crores and their share prices jumped by close to seven percent. So my point is very very simple here that FY25 or 26 whenever these orders get materialized the stock prices are going to rally and also these orders are actually big ticket size meaning that they are going to have big impact on their top line as well as bottom line. Before I move forward just a caution here that these orders QR SAM or MR SAM they are highly complex in nature and there is always a risk of these orders not materializing because of technical complexities or the change in the government or many other reasons. So it is not a deal done and dusted there is always a very high risk of these orders not materializing but what we can see right now is that QR SAM for example the trial reports have been submitted have a look at my screen so it feels that it is moving on the positive lines and this is where I always tell my viewers if you're investing in any company you need to make sure that on a quarterly basis or at least on an annual basis you are tracking what is happening in this company's order backlog what is happening to the upcoming projects because that will tell you whether you should remain invested in this company or whether you should exit from this company also the second caution I would do is this this stock is not for a short term trading stock because if you read their commentary you will see that the execution time for defense sector project is close to three to four years time. So if they get these orders by FY25 you're looking at fiscal year 28, 29 by the time they will realize these revenues. So there is a longer gestation period here for this company to produce the revenue and the profitability when it comes to these big orders. So point is simple do not look at this stock as a short term investment. Look at this stock from a long term investing perspective minimum three years. Point number four that I want to talk about is the non-defense sector revenue for this company. Have a look at my screen. As per their management, their non-defense sector revenues are close to 15 to 20 percent. But what is more important here is that because of the elections coming in next year, they are also in the business of supplying parts to the EVMs, the electronic voting machines. They're expecting revenues of close to 800 crores to 900 crores this year only, which is going to be a smaller order. Will, will get executed the same year and it might also help in growing their revenues specifically for this year. Point number five and last point around their growth perspective is that their export revenue. So have a look at my screen. You will see that last year they did 46 million US dollars of export to various countries from a from a defense sector perspective. And this year they're targeting it to be close to 90 million US dollars. So basically they are going to double their exports in this year only, which is an excellent growth from an export perspective. And if I just put this in Indian context, so 90 million USD in rupees is going to be 748 crores. It is not a small number by any means and more importantly it is getting doubled this year which tells me that there is a lot of growth coming up in the next three to five years in the export sector as well for this company. Let me now talk about few other important aspects such as valuations, shareholding patterns as well as debt of this company. So if you have a look at my screen you will see the last three years their median PE of the share has been close to 23. Right now the share is trading at close to 32 PE. So from its own history perspective, the stock seems to be overvalued right now. But if you go to this website, alphaspread.com, you will see that BEL intrinsic value base case scenario is 96 rupees right now. And best case scenario is 134 rupees and worst case scenario is 77 rupees. Let us go ahead with the base case. So I think that from valuation perspective, it might be slightly overvalued right now. But if we compare this with its peers, you will see that BEL's PE ratio is 34, PB ratio is 7.32, which is stacking at a 
very lower side as compared to Honeywell Automation, Sirma SGS, Genus Power and, and many other peers. So from a peers perspective, I don't think it is overvalued, but from its own PE tracking perspective, it seems to be overvalued right now. One thing that I want to say about valuation is that if a company seems to be having higher PE and PB, it does not necessarily make that company bad. In fact, it means that market is giving a lot of attention to that stock, meaning that the company has future prospects. That is why investors are putting a lot of money into this company. It is not always a bad sign, but yes, it comes with a risk because the volatility is going to be slightly higher. In such cases, if a bad news hits in the market or if the stock market all of a sudden falls. So from that perspective, it is on the higher risk side, but there is a reason that the company is enjoying premium valuation right now. If you look at the shareholding pattern, we will see that promoter's perspective President of India, which is Government of India, has got 51.14% stake in the company. From FIA's perspective, it used to be 9.6% back in September 2020. It has gone up to 17.35% as of June 2023. That's a very, very good sign that FIA's have poured money into this company. Of course, it comes with a risk as well that the moment FI starts to pull the money back, the share prices may fall down. Short term volatility is possible in this stock as well. Also, if you look at DII's perspective, 31.59% in September 2020, it has gone down to 24% as of June 2023 and the remaining stake is held by public. Also, let me talk about the debt position of this company. Have a look at my screen and you will see that it is almost debt free company right now 61 crores only and the reserves are looking very healthy 13,000 crores of reserve. If you look at the cash flow perspective as well, last year as of March 2023, healthy cash flow, positive cash flow of 2,645 crores. All in all, fundamentally, this company to me looks strong. The future growth prospects of this company looks bright because we have talked about the order backlog. We have talked about the exports. We have talked about the non-defense sector. The growth is likely to come from these areas. The key risk remains the government policies around the defense sector and what is likely to happen. Nobody can predict it. But overall, the stock looks fundamentally good. This is not an investment advice that you go and buy this stock right now. I have presented my analysis and my research to you. You should do your own research because ultimately it is your money, your decision. You can also consider subscribing to my YouTube member community because I share in-depth exclusive analysis on stocks, mutual funds and various other assets. For example, recently I created in-depth analysis of US bond market and what's the impact of that on the Indian market. So you can consider subscribing to my YouTube member community. If I get good comments on one particular stock, I'll pick that up and in the next few weeks, I'll create a video for you. With that, I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep rocking. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.